कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे सो वी आर गोना कंटिन्यू रीडिंग टुडे फ्रॉम श्रीमद भागवतम कैंटो सेवन चैप्टर टू टेक्स ट्वेल्व डज एनी वन रिमेंबर वॉट वी रेड यस टुडे Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah, we read yesterday, like uh, after death of his brother, like Hiranyakashipu, very much disturbed, and he wanted to kill Vishnu because he he think like uh, if I will kill Vishnu, all demigods will by default will be very much uh, weakened, and they will also like he can, he can also harm them. and he also want to disturb the whole earth and uh, uh, we uh, we read yesterday about the uh, the four categories like brahman kshatriya shudra and vaishya how lord has divided these all based on the the uh, work and the material work and the uh, mat- material nature yes material nature so brahman brahman should have a tolerant uh, tolerance and self control kshatriya they will do sacrifice and uh, protect the the earth and uh, shudra and shudra they will do the work for the brahman and kshatriya like this or vaishya they will give product goods and uh, the uh by the division of these all four varna uh, lord vishnu have like uh, created the culture to live uh, very like peacefully and uh, um, because we have so many uh, human requirements so be- due to only these all all requirements should be fulfilled that's why he divided not uh, based on the like birth it's it's divided on karma and uh, like material nature and the uh, uh, work yes and uh, mm, he he wanted to kill brahmana also so that the the culture of tolerance will be destroyed and the, uh, he want to disturb uh, all earth i think i only remember this hari krishna yes thank you yes thank you so much yeah you wanted hari to kill the brahmanas because of yes. yes hari krishna hari krishna sorry yeah also like why he wanted to kill the brahmanas because i mean they performed the <clears throat> yagyas yag yagna right yeah. and uh, yeah. and uh, by by killing them then the the yagnas will not be performed and why the yagnas are performed is to to i mean to satisfy the demigods and because the demigods are the authorized uh, authorized uh, agent who work under who work on behalf of the spirit the supreme lord and of course the supreme lord is the provider of all things of all the resources natural resources like rain sunshine everything so ultimately whatever sacrifices are offered it goes to the supreme lord because he is the main he is the proprietor of all the necessities so then lord chaitanya inaugurated the easiest performance of yag yagna the sankirtan yagna in kali yoga which can be performed by anyone hari krishna yes thank you thank you hari krishna so we are going to continue with text 12 yatra yatra dvijagavo yatra yatra dvijagavo veda varna shrama kriya ha veda varna shrama shrama kriya जनपद 
Translation and purport by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Samishla Prabhupada. Immediately go wherever there is good protection for the cows and brahmanas and wherever the Vedas are situated in terms of the Varna Sharma principles. Set fire to those places and cut from the roots the trees there which are the source of life. The picture of a proper human civilization is indirectly described here. In a perfect human civilization, there must be a class of men fully trained as perfect brahmanas. Similarly, there must be kshatriyas to rule the country very nicely according to the injunctions of the shastras. And there must be vaishyas who can protect the cows. The word gava indicates that cows should be given protection. Because the Vedic civilization is lost, cows are not protected, but instead discriminately killed in slaughterhouses. Such are the acts of demons. Therefore, this is a demoniac civilization. The Varna Sharma Dharma mentioned here is essential for human civilization. Unless there is a Brahmana to guide, a Kshatriya to rule perfectly, and a perfect Vaishya to produce food and protect the cows. How will people live peacefully? It is impossible. So peaceful living was based on this Varna Sharma society in the Vedic times. Because there is intelligent class of men, there is a class of men who's going to protect others, there's a class of men who's going to provide whatever is needed in terms of food and trade and agriculture and there's a class of men who's gonna provide services so everyone was peaceful material needs are peacefully met so people have the inclination also and the training was given to um, cultivate spiritual knowledge another point is that trees also also should be given protection during its lifetime a tree should not be cut for industrial enterprises in Kalyuk, trees are indiscriminately and unnecessarily cut for industry, in particular for paper mills that manufacture a profuse quantity of paper for the publication of demoniac propaganda, nonsensical literature, huge quantities of newspapers, and many other paper products. This is a sign of a demoniac civilization. So cow protection and not cut unnecessarily cutting trees. We can see because of cutting trees there's so much global warming has happened. So the cutting of trees is prohibited unless necessary for the service of Lord Vishnu. Yagyarthat karmano nyatra loko yam karma bandana. Work done as a sacrifice for Lord Vishnu must be performed. Otherwise work binds one to this material world. But if the paper mills stop producing paper, one may argue, how can our ISKCON literature be published? The answer is that paper, the, the paper mills should manufacture paper only for the publication of ISKCON literature because ISKCON literature is published for the service of Lord Vishnu. This literature clarifies our relationship with Lord Vishnu and therefore the publication of ISKCON literature is the performance of Yagya. So Prabhupada is saying that some, then, well, then you will say, you stop cutting trees, don't produce paper, then what about ISKCON books? There's so many books of ISKCON. But Prabhupada is saying that is Yagya. And Lord Krishna is saying in Bhagavad Gita that Yagya must be performed. Work must be performed for the satisfaction of Lord Vishnu so that we can understand the truth. If we, don't, if we didn't have the books, how would we know? How would we know the truth? Yagya must be performed as indicated by the superior authorities. The cutting of trees simply to manufacture paper for the publication of unwanted literature is the greatest sinful act. Here Prabhupada is saying that don't unnecessarily cut trees and print books which are further going to entangle one and keep one further in the material world. Iti te brother nirdesham. Iti te brother nirdesham. 
आदाय शिरसादृता आदाय शिरसादृता तथा प्रजानाम कदनम तथा प्रजानाम कदनम विदधु कदन प्रिया विदधु कदन प्रिया Thus, the demons, being fond of disastrous activities, took Hiranyakashipu's instructions on their heads with great respect, and offered him obeisances. According to his directions, they engaged in envious activities directed against all living beings. The followers of demoniac principles, as described here, are thoroughly envious of the general populace. In the present day, scientific advancement exemplifies such envy. the discovery of nuclear energy has been disastrous to people in general because demons all over the world are manufacturing nuclear weapons the word kadana priya is very significant in this regard the demoniac persons who want to kill the vedic literature are extremely envious of the feeble citizens and they act in such a way that ultimately their discoveries will be inauspicious for everyone jagato hita so the 16th chapter of bhagavad gita fully explains how the demons engage in sinful activities for the destruction of the populace so hiranyakashipu is telling them go you do harm to everyone and they are agreeing and they are going to follow his order they're saying yes sir and they are going to disturb everyone so propad here is mentioning nuclear energy it's very dangerous because it cause you know it's a cause of great fear great alarm cause of great destruction pura grama rajotyana pura grama rajotyana क्षेत्राराम आश्रमाकरण क्षेत्राराम आश्रमाकरण करण खेता खरवत गोशामस्च खेता करवत गोशामस्च ददहु पतनानि च ददहु पतनानि च the demons set fire to the cities villages pasturing grounds cow pens gardens agricultural fields and natural forests they burn the hermitages of the saintly persons the important mines that produced valuable metals the residential quarters of the agriculturists the mountain villages and the villages of the cow protectors the cowherd men they also burned the government capitals The word udyan refers to places where trees are especially grown to produce fruits and flowers which are most important for human civilization. Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita 9.26 Patram pushpam phalam toyam yo me bhakti prayachati tad aham bhakti upharitam ashnami prayatatmanah If one offers me with love and devotion a leaf a flower fruit or water I will accept it. Fruits and flowers are very much pleasing to the Lord. If one wants to please the supreme personality of Godhead, he can simply offer fruits and flowers, and the Lord will be pleased to accept them. Our only duty is to please the supreme Godhead. Some Siddhir Hari Toshanam. Whatever we do and whatever our occupation, our main purpose should be to please the supreme Lord. All the paraphernalia mentioned in this verse is especially meant for the satisfaction of the Lord, not the satisfaction of one's senses. So, Rupad here is mentioning about the trees because here they they are setting fire, cities, villages, pasturing grounds. If they set fire to pasturing grounds, what will the cows eat? Now they are also setting fire to cow pens, to the cities, to villages. So where will the people go? gardens agricultural fields what will people grow then natural forests hermitage of the saintly persons so where the brahmanas are doing their yagyas the mines 
which are create, giving valuable metals. Yeah. Quarter, residential quarters of the agriculturists, mountain villages, villages of cow protectors, cow herd men, and government capital. So they're practically crippling everyone, harming everyone in all all levels, all sections, and Prabhupada here is mentioning especially the importance of trees. Krishna himself says, offer me with love and devotion, fruit, flower, leaf, or water. So fruit, flower coming from trees. And Prabhupada is mentioning, what is our only duty? Hare Krishna. Yeah, to serve Krishna. Yes. That's yeah. right. Here, Prabhupada is mentioning our only duty is to please the Supreme Godhead. Yeah, to please the Supreme Godhead. So, we have so many duties. We have so many uh, social responsibilities, family responsibilities. Uh, we do that. But our main purpose is to please Krishna. Whatever we do, whatever our occupation, our main duty is to please Krishna. Bhagavatam says that. Otherwise, all of our efforts are a waste of time, Bhagavatam says. So all the paraphernalia mentioned in this verse is especially meant for the satisfaction of the Lord, not the satisfaction of one's senses. The government, indeed the entire society, should be structured in such a way that everyone can be trained to satisfy the Supreme Personality of Godhead. But unfortunately, in this age, Nate Vidu Swartha Gatim Hi Vishnu, people do not know that the highest goal of human life is to please Lord Vishnu. On the contrary, like demons, they simply plan to kill Vishnu and be happy by sense gratification. So it's true, there's no training being given from early, early on in life that how we should live or how we can engage in the pleasure of the Supreme Lord. No, but uh, what we are taught, enjoy your senses more and more. And the, the, whole, the whole civilization is geared towards that sense gratification. And we are encouraged and we are taught, in fact, to do it. We are not taught to, 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 to live for the service of the Supreme Lord satisfy the supreme lord from early early in early childhood you know okay. so because of that then the whole society is misled not understanding that the goal is to please the supreme lord kechit khanitre behidu bibhidu केचित् परशुपानय के some of the demons took digging instruments and broke down the bridges, the protective walls, and the gates, gopuras of the cities. Some took axes and began cutting the important trees that produced mango, jackfruit, and other sources of food. Some of the demons took firebrands and set fire to the residential quarters of the citizens. The cutting of trees is generally prohibited, in particular trees that produce nice fruit for the maintenance of human society should not be cut. In different countries, there are different types of fruit trees. In India, 
the mango and jackfruit trees are prominent. And in other places, there are mango trees, jackfruit trees, coconut trees, and berry trees. Any tree that produces nice fruit for the maintenance of the people should not be cut at all. This is a Shastric injunction. Well, the Shastra is saying that if the fruit, if the tree is giving fruit uh, that we can eat, then that, that tree should not be cut. It's a, it's a regulation in the Vedas. Evam vipra krite loke. Evam vipra krite loke. Detye dranu charer muhu. Detye dranu charer muhu. Devam deva parityagya paritya paritya Devam Deva Parita Jaya Bhuvi Cherur Alakshita Bhuvi Cherur Alakshita Thus disturbed again and again by the unnatural occurrences caused by the followers of Hiranyakashipu, all the people had to cease the activities of Vedic culture. Not receiving the results of Yajna, the demigods also became disturbed. They left their residential quarters in the heavenly planets and unobserved by the demons began wandering on the planet Earth to see the disasters. As stated in Bhagavad Gita, the performance of Yajna brings reciprocal good fortune for both the human beings and the demigods. When the performances of Yajna were stopped, by the disturbances of the demons, the demigods were naturally bereft of the results of yajna and hampered in executing their respective duties. Therefore, they came down to the planet Earth to see how people had become disturbed and to consider what to do. So, the, 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 the followers of Hiranyakashipu have practically crippled the entire system. They burnt... They burnt practically everything. So people don't know what to do. They're not able to perform yajyas, no trees, uh, no pastures, no cows. So what to do then? So then they're not performing yajya. They are not performing yajya demigods. They are not getting their share. So now they have come to see what to do. They are not able to stay in the heavens. The demigods are disturbed. So they have come to see what to do now. Hiranyakashipur Bhratu. Hiranyakashipur Bhratu. Samparetasya Dukhita. Samparetasya Dukhita. Kritva Kato Dakadini. Kritva Kato Dakadini. Bratar Prutran Asant Asant Vayad Bratar Prutran Asant Vayad After performing the ritualistic ob observances for the death of his brother Hiranyakashipu, being extremely unhappy, tried to pacify his nephews. So he's caused all this destruction. And then now he wants to give some knowledge to his family members. Shakunim Shambaram Drishtim. Shakunim Shambaram Drishtim. Bhuta Santapa Nambrikam. Bhuta Santapa Nambrikam. Kala Nabha Mahanabha Kala Nabha Mahanabha Harish Mushroom Athot Kacham Harish Mushroom Athot Kacham Tan Mataram Rushabhanum 
इदम आहा जनेश्वर इदम आहा जनेश्वर ओके हिरण्यक शिव वाज एक्सट्रीमली एंग्री बट सिंस ही वाज अ ग्रेट पॉलिटिशियन ही न्यू हाउ टू एक्ट अकॉर्डिंग टू द टाइम एंड सिचुएशन विद स्वीट वर्ड्स ही बिगन पैसिफाइंग हिज नेफ्यूज हुज नेम्स वर शकुनी शंबर दृष्टि भूत संतापन वृक कालनाभ महानाभ हरीश हरीश मश्रो एंड उत्कच ही ऑल्सो कंसोल द मदर हिज सिस्टर इन लॉ ऋषा भानु एज वेल एज हिज ओन मदर दिति ही स्पोक टू देम एज फॉलोअर्स सो दीज आर द नेम्स ऑफ द नेफ्यूज एंड हिज सिस्टर इन लॉ His mother is there. Diti is his mother. Shri Hiranya Kashipu Ruvacha. Shri Hiranya Kashipu Ruvacha. Amba Amba He Vadhu Putra. Amba Amba He Vadhu Vadhu Putra. Viram Mar Hatha Shochitum. Viram Mar Hatha Shochitum. रिपोर्ट अभी मुकेश लाख्य काशीपुर सेट माई डियर मदर सिस्टर इन लॉ एंड नेफ्यूज यू शुड नॉट लमेंट फॉर द डेथ ऑफ द ग्रेट हीरो for a hero's death in front of his enemy is glorious and desirable so he's calling his brother a great hero did anyone have any questions comments till now so what we read so uh, this whole destruction is done on on the planet earth right yeah he did it on the earth so that the sacrifices will be stopped so the demigods mm -hmm. are going to be disturbed yes yeah 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 uh, hari krishna actually i'm just wondering like we are doing our devotion and we are doing yagya or rituals so the demigods are impacted with this our uh, yagyas and rituals right yes so okay so they they give benefit from our yagyas or it's all all uh, like uh, uh, all benefit not some or all benefit how yes that's the reason yagya is recommended to be performed so that the demigods can be also happy to provide us what they are providing the sun the moon uh the what the rains the the trees the you know everything is being taken care of by demigods so what was designed that human society that human beings offer yagya demigods get their share of yagya they are also happy and they are happy to provide us the necessities of life in kalyug mm -hmm. we do not have the qualification to perform all these kind of elaborate yagya so we are recommended mm -hmm. to perform the sankirtan yagya the chanting of the holy names and by doing that all the demigods are also satisfied and happy to provide us our material necessities and not mm -hmm. only that the sankirtan yagya is gives us the highest perfection prema pumartho maha Hmm. that is love for krishna the panch purusharta 
so these are the maintaining the demigods uh, power right like if we'll, yes. we are doing these all things so they they are benefited with these all things and they have their <laughs> sustain their power to be that's a demigod right. okay that's right mm -hmm. okay Hare krishna yeah that's right so the demigods are also happy when one becomes a devotee you know they're the happiest yes yes becomes a de devotee mm. and mm. okay so going on bhutanam iha samvasa bhutanam iha samvasa Prapayam eva suvrate. Prapayam eva suvrate. Deve ne katra nitanam. Deve ne katra nitanam. Unitanam swakarma be. Unitanam swakarma be. My dear mother, in a restaurant or place for drinking cold water, many travelers are brought together. And after drinking water, they continue to their respective destinations. Similarly, living entities join together in a family. And later, as a result of their own actions, they are led apart to their destinations. Prakriti kriyamanani gune karmani sarvasha ahankara vimudatma kartaham iti manyate the bewildered soul under the influence of the three modes of material nature thinks himself the doer of activities which are in actuality carried out by nature. Bhagavad Gita 327. So it's under this illusion of Maya we are thinking I'm the doer, I'm the doer, I'm the doer. All living entities act according to the directions of Prakriti, material nature, because in the material world, we are fully under a higher control. So we think we are independent, you know. We, we say, why should I surrender to Krishna? Why? I can do whatever I like. I'm independent. But we don't understand. If we don't surrender to Krishna, we have to surrender to Maya material nature, she, then we have to dance according to her tune. She makes us act. These modes of nature, we are bound by these modes. So, we are acting according to these modes. All the living entities in this material world have come here only because they wanted to be equal to Krishna in enjoyment and have thus been sent here to be conditioned by material nature in different degrees. So here we are seeing, we say, why did Krishna make the world? Why God made the world? Why God put me here? The reason is said here. What is the reason? Because we wanted to be equal to Krishna in enjoyment. And yeah. So the sent here, the condition. Yeah. That's right. We are like, why should I surrender to Krishna? I want to be independent. I want to enjoy in my own way. Krishna is enjoying in his own way. I want to enjoy in my own way. So then Krishna says, okay, you come here to the material world. In the material world, a so-called family is a combination of several persons in one home to fulfill the terms of their imprisonment. A criminal prisoners scatter as criminal prisoners scatter as soon as their terms are over and they are released. All of us who have temporarily assembled as family members will continue to our respective destinations. So, Hiranyakashipu is giving the example of a restaurant or where, you know, places where they provide you drinking water. I don't know if you all have seen before. When I was a kid, I'd gone to Jodhpur and there were these special places where you could, they would keep nice cool water because it would be so hot. 
So as a community service, they would have these places where you can drink water when you're outside. So people come drink water and go. That's Hiranyakashipu saying. Prabhupada here is saying, he's ex explaining how family members come together just as prisoners are put together in a cell. Then they finish their, their jail term. Then they go different ways. So family members come together. Then after giving up the body, each goes in their own respective journey. Another example is given is that of uh, family members are like straws carried together by the waves of a river. Sometimes such straws mix together in whirlpools and later dispersed again by the same waves. They float alone in the water. So water, there is straw in the water. Some straws are brought together by the water. Again, the water disperses them and then the straws float away. Although Hiranyakashipu was a demon, he had Vedic knowledge and understanding. Thus, the advice given to his family members, his sister-in-law, mother and nephews, was quite sound. The demons are considered highly elevated in knowledge. Mm -hmm. But because they do not use their good intelligence for the service of the Lord, they are called demons. The demigods, however, act very intelligently to satisfy the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So the demons have a lot of knowledge. They have Vedic knowledge here. Hiranyakashipu is giving this knowledge of the body and the soul to his family. But then what, what is the difference? What is it that he's not putting to good use the knowledge? And that is to please the Supreme Lord. You know, that's the goal. Whereas the demigods, they do it. They've understood it. The demigods are always pleasing the Supreme Lord. That's why it's their service to the Supreme Lord to be put in these powerful positions as demigods. It's their service to Krishna. So this is confirmed in Srimad Bhagavatam 1 to 13 as follows. Ata pumbir, pumbir vija shreshta varna shrama vibhagasha svanosthitasya dharmasya samsidir haritoshanam O best among the twice born, it is therefore concluded that the highest perfection one can achieve by discharging his prescribed duties, dharma, according to caste divisions and orders of life is to please the Lord Hari, Samsidir Hari Toshanam, to become a demigod or to become godly, whatever one's occupation, one must satisfy the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So this is what the demigods are doing. By their work, they are pleasing the Supreme Lord. But whereas the demons are not. And Bhagavatam is saying that that is the goal. You know, what one has one's duties to perform, one has one's dharma, whatever one's our social responsibilities, national responsibilities or family responsibilities, whatever. What is the goal? To please the Supreme Lord. Any anyone wanted to comment anything? No? Then we'll stop here for today. And we'll continue reading tomorrow. Srimad Bhagavatam Kiche, Shla Prabhupada Kiche, Gaur Bhaktavinda Kiche,